we'll have further updates and IPS and other conferences throughout the uh, coming years. And hopefully at some point, you'll see a picture of me with some scissors in my hand, cutting a ribbon. <laughs> but that's, uh, that remains for another day. So any questions to wrap up? So, well, we have a couple more minutes um, and maybe just to say one more thing to footnote what uh, Ken was saying is um, the realistic budget that was developed was another really important factor. So um, not only did the chancellor want something vi visible, but he wanted to know if he went and asked for money, if he would have enough um, when he came out of the doors of the legislature. And um, so that was one of our tasks was to develop budgets. I know you all helped us and we also included uh, operating expenses. So hopefully um, when the project is approved at whatever level, maybe three quarters, as Ken said, we'll have sufficient money to both build the building and operate it so we can begin to develop all of the programs and curriculums. So uh, with that, if there are no more questions, Ken, anything else? No, I want to also say thank you. And I want to start with you, Tim, because um, after the IP, after the, um, the Pleiades um, presentation I did, um, Tim pulled me off to the side and he said, look, you need an architect. I'm willing to help you and I'm going to do it pro bono. And so I want to, I just want to acknowledge your contributions because you've been, you've visited here, what, twice? Um, you've done more than anything I could ask for. And in terms of getting, getting the, the nuts and bolts of this thing put together so that people can understand what it is we really want. Um, because I can explain it all day, but your drawings and the drawings of Robbie Ferris and everybody else really put, put you know, meat on the bones. You know, they, they tell the story of what we need and how we need it. And well, um, Ken, Ken, thank you very much. And, you know, it's my, uh, my gift to provide you guys on behalf of IPS and the Design and Operations Committee. At this point, we're about done, so should we take a break? That sounds like a great idea. Folks can hang out. If uh, you have a couple other questions, feel free to ask and uh, continue chatting on the river or here. Uh, you can unmute yourself as well. Uh, I, <clears throat> I was just looking at, the, as, the, as the chat watcher, this is a complicated task because I'm looking at river and the chat, but uh, there's a lot of praise you know great work ken you mentioned uh but this is a question actually you mentioned the planetarium at high point is it public or school based that's a college planetarium uh they do do public programs and they've they've resumed limited programming for students at high point and the faculty only um as of the last time i visited and that was back in january so they, they very well could have opened up and i told um brad uh, Barlow, the director there, um, he needs to plan on hosting SEPA 2024. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's a really nice facility and you should show it off, you know, um, because it's part of a larger arts and sciences building. It's got a lot of classrooms and, um, and some spaces. I hope they devote to science center exhibits for kids. But right now it's the standing planetarium. And it's a really nice one. They've got um, the, uh, the Spitz... Um, Michael, you're gonna to have to help me out here with this. Spitz projections. It's a, a 4K XL. Um, they have 54,000 lumens on the dome in a 50 foot dome. So Thanks. when they said they don't want to spare any expense, they did not spare any expense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High Point is a private university that that um, you go to the campus and you're like, oh, we need some of that here, <laughs> you know. So it's a nice place. So Michelle is saying, and I think I would echo this, and I think probably a lot of people who are listening in would echo this. Thank both of you for sticking with this to get you back up and educating kids again. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. You wouldn't have it any other way. Of course, as, as most of you would likewise chime in, you wouldn't have it any other way. It's, uh, it's, in, it's in your DNA, I think, if it's I know you correctly. You do. Well, and, and we may not have um, digital sound, but, you know, 
Um, we do take our inspiration perhaps from the science fiction world because sometimes this project seems like science fiction, but um, definitely we'll be uh, continuing this saga for episode 50 and 51. And, you know, hopefully the ribbon cutting will, will be maybe in the 60s, not in the hundreds, right, Ken? <laughs> Okay, Benjamin is saying, Benjamin is saying, Ken, you need to put together a manual on what you've done. Yeah. You win. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, actually, um, if you look at some of the old issues of the Planetarian, and I am delinquent in continuing that, but it's on my to-do list, but, um, but um, Ken has been sort of a guinea pig for us in the update of, so you want to build a Planetarium. So you can find back issues of, and the story of Ken uh, in, in past issues of the Planetarium in the archive. Um, and we'll continue to document his story. <laughs> yeah. And um, thank you to everybody who's written the letters. I know, John, you had a part to play in the letter from IPS. And, um, and um, where is Bob? Is Bob Bronadur still up here? Because I wanted to thank him as well, because he also wrote a nice letter. Thank you, Bob. I, I love your top 10, Bob. That was awesome. <laughs> hey, Ken, uh, speaking of those letters, I would love to be able to see a, a copy of those. There was some great commentary, some great analysis in those that could be helpful to other people. Sure. sure. I'd be happy to, uh, Mike, put your email in the chat. I'd be happy to send it to you. Thank you. I appreciate you that. You know, or if, um, if uh, River has, a, I haven't gone to River yet, so I don't know if there's a way to, archive documents would be happy to provide the letters that people have written. And Alan, I know you were, Alan actually developed a template while he was writing my letter for IPS, right? So there's an IPS uh, template for a letter of support now. That was this all, a, this all goes into your manual, I guess. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's what I meant, you know, because there are a lot of planetariums that, you know, someone always feels they should be closing down their planetarium and trying to, you know, fight for your planetarium from scratch is very hard. So, you know, we can we can certainly lean on everything you've done. Uh, River will support uh, documents. So whatever you want to give us, we'll get up on the river um, okay. after the and, conference. And, and Mike, this is Tim. Uh, uh, all of the letters that we had uh, up to this point are in this PowerPoint presentation and they should be legible. Uh, but um, I guess we're, Ken, are we going to post the PowerPoint to River then? Well, is that the way this works? I think Jer Jeffrey's already done that. Uh, okay. All right. So if you go look at the presentation, we just had the slides, you'll find all the letters there. Outstanding. Thank you. Because, yeah, I'm on, that, I'm on that River share group. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody. I appreciate all the support. It helps, especially on those dark days where things aren't going so well. You know. <laughs> I think I should probably mention that there's, a, there's going to be proceedings for this conference, and it's not just River. There's going to be the, the PowerPoints or whatever you want would have submitted as, a, um, as, a, as a, your paper for the proceedings um, that can be put in the official conference proceedings apart from the river. And uh, there's also, of course, a recording of your talk, but that won't reproduce the actual letters very well. If, um, that would show up better in, uh, in your PowerPoint. I think uh, people are supposed to submit their papers to Michelle, Michelle Wistison. So any presenters here who have not already done that, you're derelict, you need to do it. <laughs> I'm a derelict and I will do it. And I'll throw some letters of support in there as well, if that's okay with Michelle. Yes, please. Um, hopefully you got my reminder, but um, if you didn't, I apologize. I posted that top 10 list on the river thing for, for Ken that we sent. So it's up if anyone wants it. 